Oh yeah, mmm, purple. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Galicide, a shoot 'em up puzzle game. So here we are in the asteroid belt in Galicide. There are a bunch of different ships to unlock, I think there's currently three. Uh, I know one of them's a freighter, which is able to hold one piece of scrap, which are these uh, balls that are floating around in space. SPACE BALLS! <laughs> and uh, then this is the miner ship, which is able to pull scrap towards it by pressing X. You can fire scrap once you grab it by pressing A, uh, which means you have to stop firing your weapon to pick up scrap. But that is relatively easy, like if I want to pick up between those two pieces of scrap, boom, I can scoop the purple one up. It's really quite intuitive. I'm impressed by the controls. And the graphics look really nice as well. I would expect no less from uh, puny human games. They did make Blade Symphony, which I've done a couple of videos for. And uh, I rather enjoy that. While this is a bit more puzzle oriented, I don't see that as a problem really. As it does have a lot of action elements to keep uh, somebody like me a bit more interested. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and I got the weapon power up. So that definitely helps with clearing the board so you can do, do a little more thinking of uh, what, where you're going to put your pieces and whatnot. Uh, actually, I'm going to go right here. Oh. No! No! I need the orange piece. That's the frustrating part is they just uh, slide out of view. <laughs> ever so slowly, and I'm gonna get fucked over here. I need to go drop this last piece in, boop, clear some stuff up, oh god. Purple, purple, purple. Oh yeah, mmm, purple. <laughs> you need to give yourself a lot of free movement, like clearing the board is definitely advantageous. Oh look at this, exploding thing. Boom! Clearing the board is definitely advantageous because you'll be able to get more uh, access to more pieces and more ships for the shootings, which also gives you more pieces to distribute and make the combos and win the game. The boss fights in this game are also ultra cool. There was a snake that I saw, um, and you basically have to shoot the different colored marbles and make a combo in his tummy tum and then uh, he, he will bite the dust after a few combos really interesting game I think it has some great mechanics there's also a puzzle mode uh, which gets extremely complicated with some of the later puzzles and uh, as well as normal hard and expert difficulties so I think this game offers a lot it's really really quite awesome to look at. I think the music is alright. Um, it's nothing that impresses me too much, but it's uh, pretty good for a, a space shooter-esque puzzly thing. They must be protecting something. Fucking blow them up. Blow them all up! That's the part I like. More combos, more combos! Oh! Now I need the perk. Perk, perk, perk. Yeah, I infused that wrong colored one uh, with purple power. So it was able to complete the combo. Even though there was one that was the wrong color. Which makes for the big combos I was talking about a little earlier. Woo! Fuck yeah! Now we're doing the thing. Give me great. That's right, that's right. Push, push, push! More! More! Yes! That, that's good. That's real good. I want all these power-ups, please. Thank you. Let's see if we can keep it clear. Combo Master! That's right. I am the combo master. Uh oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Please let me still be the combo master. 
Can I can I still be the combo master? I've been dethroned. Fuck! I just crashed into a ship. You do have a life bar. Gotta watch that. <laughs> Damn it! What color are those balls? What color are your balls? <laughs> Tell me what color your balls are so I can match them with other balls! And then they'll, they'll disappear, hopefully. God damn. I'm about to get fucking wrecked. Just seconds away from absolute destruction. And it's only like level 3. Which is just insane. I think it's because I'm waiting for the right balls. You know how that is, ladies? You're just waiting for the right balls, but they never quite come along. You might have found them. I don't know. Destroy that shit. Boo! That'll work. Come here, stored scrap. You all go this way. And I'll store the orange one. Oh, goddamn. Ow, 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 ow. I want that, though. Ow, can I have it? Ow. <laughs> Boosh. Uh-huh! Uh-huh! I'm on fire! Shoot more bombs! It's the solution to all life's problems. Shoot more bombs. But of course. Why didn't we think of it before, Senator? Jesus Christ. Store that one. We're gonna store this one for later use! Uh-oh. Missed that one. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Snake boss! You're here again! It's so nice to see you. Oh, 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 what are you doing there, huh? Ow. I need this, and you eat it. And then you eat another one. Ow! Not cool. Oh, you got fucking blasted, right? Look at this shit. Ugh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Are we gonna do purple? We'll do purple. He likes purple balls. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. you got a bunch of blue balls in your mouth. <laughs> they won't be blue for long if you keep them there. Please don't hurt me. Did that hurt me? <laughs> ah, uh, 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 uh. I need that thing. I need it. I need it. Please, please, please. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. You like it. You can grab the power up and fucking shoot him in the head. Ah! Alright, guess we're doing gray this time. Put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. There we go. In your mouth. Open wide. That's a good girl. Oh. I guess it does a different thing. It gave me health. So I guess that's cool. Let's see what orange does. Uh-oh, we missed. Let's see what the next color that comes out. Ow, 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 ow! God damn it! Fuck. Fuck. This, this sucks. Okay, do that. Oh, we missed! We missed and we got a head button. All right. Do this, do this, do this. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, okay, up a little and then down a little. Give me, uh, give me orange balls. Oh, did he eat it? No, he didn't. That's fine. No, orange. I fucking failed again. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die to the snake. Which, you know, it's not the first time, but I had it figured out this time, which makes it extra sad. Oh, fuck! Orange works real good! <laughs> so, friends, this has been Galicide, an amazingly fun puzzler, uh, especially for someone who doesn't particularly enjoy puzzlers. I it really enjoy the action elements, and uh, Puny Human has done a great job at reaching from the action genre into something that uh, 
a wider audience may enjoy. So, with any, without further ado, uh, my, my scores for the gameplay section are as follows. The controls are a 10 out of 10. I got, I've gone on and on about how easy it is to pick up one little speck from the four that are floating around, and it really holds true. It, it's really well done. So 10 out of 10 for the controls, not a whole lot I could say. The fun factor is a 7 out of 10. I think it's relatively fast-paced and good puzzling action, um, and it keeps you on your toes, knowing that you might be crushed at any moment. <laughs> you have to clear your path the entire way, so you're definitely thinking the entire time while also being blitzed with enemies. So sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, but always fun at a 7 out of 10. The difficulty, I've given an 8 out of 10. If you if you want it to be a 10 out of 10, go ahead and try it on expert mode. I mean, even on normal mode, it is difficult enough for me. Um, matching colors seems like an easy prospect, but uh, it quickly grows into something that is uh, more difficult than one would expect, to be sure. <laughs> the replayability, I've given a 10 out of 10. There are a multitude of puzzle play modes and endless game modes and all sorts of different types of game modes as well as the main storyline and the endless play really is rather fantastic if you're if you're looking to kill 15 or 20 minutes or if you're more like me it's like 5 to 10 minutes but either way it's a whole lot of fun so replayability is definitely there I'll be back to this one in no time for sure the innovation I've given a 9 out of 10 I really enjoy how these two genres mesh together I haven't seen anything quite like this Especially not with the constant stream of enemies and the thing and needing to blow the enemies up for scraps and things of that nature. So, 9 out of 10 for innovation. Really, really well done. The aesthetic, I've given the graphics a 7 out of 10. I think they're really well done. Um, a, a bit over overdone, perhaps, for uh, just an action puzzler. But uh, you really can't scoff at something like that. So I think it fits well. I really like the effort that went into it. And while it doesn't match tone as well as something like Blade Symphony has like a cohesive tone, I think uh, it serves its purpose pretty well. The music I've given a 5 out of 10. Uh, it is an average score. I don't think anything super fantastic about the music. Um, but it's definitely serviceable. And it makes me feel uh, like I'm on an epic space journey, which you kind of are, aside from the puzzling. <laughs> so the mute or the sound effects, I've also given a five out of ten. It does feel good to blow stuff up. However, I feel that it could it could pack a bit more punch. Um, the lasers going constantly is a bit droning after a while, if you happen to notice it, but. I, overall, I think the, the the sound effects serve a decent purpose at a 5 out of 10. The story, I've given a 3 out of 10. There is one. It exists. Um, while it's not enough to drag you back in if you don't enjoy the puzzling and the action, um, I do appreciate the effort to put one at all. <laughs> so, a 3 out of 10 for story. The level design, I've given a 7 out of 10. I really like how some of them are laid out, others just seem to be a random mess, but even the random mess, uh, there is a way to get through it, you know what I mean? Even if that's by your own wits or the game designer's um, good graces as some of those levels depicted. So really, really good game. I enjoyed Galicide a whole, whole lot. I've decided to award Galicide a 71 out of 100. It is an extremely awesome game and extremely deserving of an above average score. I'd like to thank Puny Human for the review copy. I am also giving away two additional Steam keys uh, to two random commenter on this video. So I will be doing that in about three or four days. So if you'd like a chance at that, uh, go ahead and drop something in the comment box. Hopefully something nice. And... Uh, I'll, I'll randomly pick somebody for those two keys. So I do hope you've enjoyed this date and dissects. I do hope you enjoy the giveaway. I do hope you'll check out Galicide if it looks like something that you would enjoy. 
And if you did enjoy this video, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton. Once again, this has been Galicide. I'll see you guys in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.